I'm Megan, and welcome to the Bookmaking Show. I hope you like it. Arigato gozaimasu! So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your cardboard piece, and you're going to line it up with the square that you drew, and you're going to press down. Okay. So now you're going to turn your piece over so that your paper's laying face up. And you're going to take your bone folder, and remember, fold it horizontally, and you're just going to go over your cardboard piece. So once you've got that done, you can turn your piece of paper over, and now you take your spine, lather it with glue, And you're going to once again set it within those, set it within the line that you drew for it. A little box. And you're going to once again take your bone folder and go over it. Now, once that's done, you take your last piece. Remember, fold your scrap paper over. Place your cover, turn it over, and use your book. So once you're done, you should have this. So after you have that done, you might take your scissors or your paper cutter. And you're going to cut off the corners. Now make sure when you do this, you leave a good amount of space between the edge and your card, and your mat board. You should end up with this. Now, we're going to repeat the process. <laughs> yep. Yep. Once we're done with that, we're going to move our scissors out of the way. We're going to grab some more scrap paper. And remember, always save your corners. So now we're going to take our glue once again. And I'm going to start with the long side. Well, at least one. I'm just going to lather it up. I'm going to fold my scrap paper over this way. And I found an easy way to make it so that this comes up and it's straight. I just place the glued side on the table, I bring it up like this, and I just fold it over, and then I press. Now you want to make sure that you get in the grooves. Sideways, so I'm. Yeah, so I did the same thing, only shorter. So you can basically sign any size you want. So I'm just going to sign it 
Sometimes it's different. And then I'm just going to go around clockwise. So you remember, always use your bone folder to make sure you get those air bubbles out. Fold over your scrap paper. Make sure you get in the grooves of your spine. And once you're done with your scrap paper, just toss it over your shoulder. So, here's the ending result. <laughs> now, once you're done with that, basically fold it. Make sure it's right. Excuse me for a second. It should look like this. Huh? It said it should look like this. And now, after we've got that done, you basically just have the issue of putting your backing on. So now, we can see that these are long enough, and these are like just long enough, barely, but they're good. So you could put on the same thing, or you could switch it up, and you could do this. That would look pretty. So, yeah. Yeah, that would look cool. Like it? Okay. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our other scrap paper and we're going to cover our backing with glue. Once we're done with that, pull our cover paper over. Toss it, and then carefully place it on your cover. Once again, use your bone folder. Make sure you get in the grooves. And there you have it. So now for the final touch, your post-its. So you're going to take a piece of scrap paper and you're going to slide it the back. And what you're going to do is you are going to place it, make sure it's level in your cover. Make sure you have the same amount of space on top and bottom. You want to make sure that it's near the part where it folds. And then you're going to press down. And once you're done with that, you're going to fold your book over. And there you have it. Goes this way. <laughs> and that's how you make your post it note hardcover book. You said it right. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so until next time, I'm Megan. Thanks for watching the book making show. Bye! Bye. Oh, that was good.